Come and take a seat by the fire. I know it's freezing outside, so you probably want to warm up as fast as possible. Oh, you poor thing. Look at you. You're practically shivering. Your parents couldn't have given you some warmer clothing. Here, let me get that collar off you. I can't believe them. I know they sold you as a slave and all, but did they really have to put a collar on you? That's just absurd. Some parents... This collar is harder to get off than I thought it'd be. The keyhole is so stubborn. Oh, you poor thing. You must be so uncomfortable wearing it. Unless you like it. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Forgive me. I thought a little joke would ease the tension a bit. There we go. See? It's off. Come on. You know I'd never want to do anything to make you uncomfortable. You've known me since forever, right? And I've always been so good to you. That's why I had to buy you as soon as I found out your parents were selling you. If I didn't, someone else would have. And I hate to think how they'd mistreat you. I don't know what I'd do if anyone hurt you. But I'm still brainstorming, and I have some very illegal ideas. Free you? Well, I'd love to, but I really can't. If I free you, your parents will just try and claim you again. And then, they'll just try and sell you again. And who knows if I'll be the first one to buy you. And even if I am... It'd just be an endless loop of freeing you and buying you. We should really just cut to the chase for the sake of security. I know it's a messed up society. I don't make the rules. I just try to work around them in the best way I can to protect you. Besides, even if you were truly free, you don't really have much you can do with your freedom anymore, you know? Since your parents kind of did their best to ruin your life... But you don't have to worry about that anymore. I'll take care of you now, as your beloved owner. I'll never betray you. I've never betrayed you before. I'm not going to start now. So, now how do you feel with that collar off? Is your neck better? Oh, that's very good, sweetheart. Can I call you sweetheart? Well... I know I can, because I technically own you now. Well, not technically. I really do own you. I've got a deed in everything. But like I said, I'm a benevolent owner. Now, can I call you sweetheart? Well then, don't mind if I do, sweetheart. How's the fire, by the way? Did you want me to put a few more logs on it? <laughs> master? I never asked you to call me master. But, well, I'm glad you did. I like the sound of it. Master? And judging by the blushing I'm seeing, I think you like it too. I'm glad you're adjusting quickly to your new role. You know, since we both seem to like it so much when you call me master, I think you should do it again. <laughs> that wasn't an order. But maybe you'd prefer if it was. Well then, how about this? I order you to call me master. I knew you'd be into it. You're my good little... What should I call you, servant? Do you need the euphemism? Or can I just drop the pretense and call you what you are? My slave. I mean, that's the reality, but I don't want to offend my precious sweetheart. You're still irreplaceable to me, 
You're the most valuable thing in the entire world. I don't know how your parents practically just gave up a treasure like you anyway. They sold you so cheaply, too. I couldn't believe my ears when I heard the news. All my life, I've yearned so intensely for you, and it hurt me so deeply. But also when others looked at you and talked about you and laughed like they were going to take you away from me. But today, once I purchased you, all the pain went away. It's ironic. You might be my slave now, but this has been really liberating for me. I don't have to worry about anything else now. Other than taking care of you, of course. I could never confess my feelings before, but now they're overflowing. I guess it helps to own you. Don't worry. I won't abuse my position. I'll make you happy. I want you to love me, after all. And that's not something I can take by force. It's something I have to foster by treating you right. Hey, your love life isn't too great, right? Should I fix that? Well, there are a lot of things I could mean. That all depends on what you're ready for. If you're shy or unwilling to go further, which I respect, by the way, then maybe I could just mean holding hands with a little bit of hugging. We could just have our own little date by the fire, thinking innocent, wholesome little things. If you're a little less shy or a little more eager, which there's nothing wrong with, then why don't we just stop right there? For instance, you could come to bed with me, and I could make sure you stay warm tonight. <laughs> I meant with a fire and getting warm clothes. Just where did your mind go? Aren't you just adorable? I've never seen anything cuter. I'd write my name on you, but I don't want to ruin perfection. Maybe I'll write it on your collar instead. A little note saying who your owner is. Me. I'd have to get you a more comfortable collar first, though. But you never answered my question. Should I put a little more love into your love life? What would you like? Wholesome? Got it. One order of wholesome coming right up. Well, what are you waiting for, cutie? What are you staring at my hand for? My eyes are up here. You said you wanted wholesome hand-holding, right? Aren't you gonna hold my hand? <laughs> Too shy, aw. That's adorable. And thank you for speaking your mind. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'll take it from here. Since you wanted to, I order you to hold my hand. There we go. Thank you for being so obedient. I'm very proud of you, darling. You're such a fast learner. It makes me think of what I should teach you. Well, for starters, I think I'll teach you that you are very, very cute. You are. You're the cutest cutie I've ever seen. Although, I don't really look at much other than you, especially when you're sleeping. But still, I know my stuff, and I know you are particularly cute. The cutest. Are you calling me a liar? You're one and only master. Well then, admit it. I order you to call yourself cute. See, you are a fast learner. And I think that warrants a reward, so... What would you like, cutie? I'm an indulgent master, so let me know how you want me to spoil you. But try to keep it appropriate. Although, I can forgive you if you don't. What are you talking about? That's not really a request. I already told you, you're mine. So I'm keeping you. You can't really ask me to keep you, since I'm already going to do that, no matter what. 
Nothing is going to take you away from me. I'd sooner burn the world than let it take you away from me. But I can see you might be a bit unsure, sweetheart, so let me put your mind at ease. Your mind. I've gotten addicted to you, and I'll die from withdrawal if I'm without you. So you will always be mine, now and forever. You're mine. You're mine, you're mine. I'll say it as many times as you need to hear. You're mine, you're mine. As many times as it takes to get into your cute little skull. That you're mine. Do you know why? Because you're mine, sweetheart. Now, is there anything else my good little property wants as a reward? I thought that was already implied. But you know what? No, you're right. It's good to say it out loud. Well then, let me say it explicitly. I'm your boyfriend now. And also your master. But also your boyfriend. I guess that makes this a date. I think I said that before. Holding hands by the fire. It counts. It doesn't have to be a date. But I'd like it to be one. And since you're blushing up a storm, I'm pretty sure you feel the same, don't you? That's what I thought, precious. I can read you like a cute open book. I love you. Do you understand that? Do you understand that your master loves you? Repeat after me. Master loves me. There we go. That's my good little slave. What am I going to do with a slave as good as you? Well, I'm sure you have a few fantasies. But you already are so good for me. I appreciate it. But you know, I still haven't given you a reward. You just asked for things that were already given. You don't have to hold back, you know. What's on your mind? What do you want me to give you? I'd do anything for you. And you know, I really mean anything. So if you want to get revenge on your parents, just let me know. It'll be fine. I'll make it look like an accident, baby. I promise. You won't have to worry about a thing. You just have to say the word and I'll dispense justice in your place. Are you sure? Okay, I get it. I understand. But let me know if you change your mind. So then, how about your reward? Got it. One cuddling to sleep by the fireplace, coming right up. I was hoping you'd say that. I've got the bedroll right here. Come on. You should get some rest. You've had a long night. Sweet dreams, darling. I love you. <laughs>